Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Mountain Blade. Warband, should keep remembering to add Warband, but I look at this screen at the minute and I'm like, I don't see much difference. I know the game's more than I know there's a lot more features, but this particular screen, one that I come to quite often when I'm starting because well, it's a good point to stop. Yeah, it just very much looks like Warband, uh, but... Uh, let's place another bet on myself, 100 denarii, go ahead. Uh, who's still actually involved? Jerusalem keeps making it through. <sighs> let's let's fight in this round and maybe we can kill Jerusalem. Crap, I've got a bow and arrow. Oh, uh, but someone's decided to come off, so I can have a go. Oh, uh, maybe we kill this one instead. Kill one of them. Stay still. Kill. And again, kill. The Christ, how many arrows? Thank you. And oh come on, that was a headshot. Oh crap, he had his shield out. In the head, please. Okay, this guy looks like an easy target. Why do I feel like you're trying to attack me, Miss Greeny? Okay. No, that wasn't an easy target. He had a freaking shield and he knew how to use it. Oh no! He, I'm not shooting at him! God damn it! Defending that fair maiden's honour. My kill! I did all the damaging. Come on. Pull. Kill it! Are you, are you gonna move? I'm happy if you don't because you'll die, but I really think it might have been in your best interest to have moved. And... Come on. In the head. How is that not a headshot? So I'm still running ready. Oh, one guy left. Oh, the guy with a porcupine shield. And guys, while I'm distracting his shield, you could be shooting him more. Thank you! Woo! Fire up in the air! Well, uh... Of course, place a bit of myself. Go ahead. Uh, who's still involved? Jerusalem is still in! God, my, my companions in Warband are so much better than my companions in just Mountain Blade. My companions in Mountain Blade just died constantly. Um... Let's... Let's fight! Two teams, four fighters on each? God. Bloody bow and arrow again. And pokey pokey. The other one has been injured, so I'd like to chase and kill you so I can maybe have the master at arms go, oh, he was fucking brilliant, him. Not that I think I deserve it by the shooting that I've just been doing. 
Come on, kill him. The other guy's just poking him as well. He should be really injured. There. I got my one kill. Whoa. Die. No, didn't work. See, they can use that as a weapon. I know he's got the same javelins as what I was using. How the hell do you use your javelins as a... You know, just as a normal melee weapon? I didn't know you could. Come on. Yes, got him. In the back. No. Put that shield away. Uh, get out your horse. Guys, you couldn't come and help me. I've got a pesky thing at my feet. There we go. It's alright, guys. I've dealt with it. Um... Have you killed the other guys yet? You know, I'm asking for three of you to kill two, so... Damn it. Ramming them doesn't work, does it? <laughs> I just thought maybe then I could use my horse to knock him off his, but... Or hers. And... No. Fine then. Knives it is. It's my fault for bringing a bow to a knife fight. When you wanted a knife fight, come back and have the knife fight with me. Thank you. My trusty knife. Uh, two teams, two fighters on each. Who's still in? Nah, Jerusalem's out now. Place to bet on myself, of course. I think we might actually win this one. Uh, go ahead and fight in the next round. <laughs> yeah, we well, go on, knife fight it then. <laughs> the worst weapon on horseback ever. A short knife. I mean, even the Romans who tended to have short swords put longer ones than one that was on a horseback. Chase him. Go up. We can kill him with a knife. I think at the minute we're both swinging and we can't reach each other. I can't see where he is. Okay, now we can gang up on him. Swing, swing. Hello. Sorry, uh, Mrs. Archer, I've got in your way, haven't I? Get him. On and missed. Got him finally. Took a while to kill him with a butter knife. Oh, well, let's see if there's any two participants left. Sword sister, she was glass on my side, so let's go ahead. She did subtle last time, so I bet we can kill her. Uh, fight in the next round. Come on. I got to stay in red. Good. I won in red last time. And kill. And kill. Yes, yeah, Sword Sister was... She was carried by me in the last round to make sure I had an easy final. Uh, we get a good 4,000 gold, which I... Gotta say, I quite like the idea of having. Uh, visit the tavern. Is there anyone here for me to... Recruit? I think I remember you. 
Hello there. From the look of you, I'd say you're expecting to get into some fights in the near future. Uh, main chance I help? Um, I could. What's your story? I don't care. I just want to hire her. Tell me what she's good at, and that's all I care about. Don't make me read a story. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, sir, as long as I can remember, I've had a weakness for pretty things, and it's gotten me into some trouble, you see. Uh, I grew up in the Lillian Castle as a bonded servant working alongside my mother in the kitchens. I would amuse myself by hunting in mice through the pantries and sculleries. I was so good at it that I put the castle cat out of a job, and eventually the Lord recognised that I might also be employed to track down bigger, a bigger game. On certain urns of a type perhaps better left unsaid. Oh, you was an assassin. And needless to say, I found a number of opportunities to avail myself of trinkets that had formerly belonged to my lord's enemies. So I was able to buy myself out of bondage and find hire as a free agent. My last job was here in Tugela. Unfortunately, my last employer's wife had a lovely amulet of a kind I simply could not resist. Uh, she did. She didn't know it's. She doesn't know it's missing, but she might soon. So please tell me you're looking for helpers. I might be. What can you do? Well, sir. Let me tell you. I may know. I may not know how to read and write, but I am the quickest way to a man's heart. In is between the fourth and fifth rib. If you understand me. Oh, you kill people. I can throw knives and in addition stabbing them. And I'm a slippery quicksilver, you can find me useful. Oh, sure, I'll have you as a job. You're not a level one person, you're level two at least as well, so. Anyone else in here? Bocha. Ho there, traveller. You wouldn't by chance be in the market for a tracker now, would you? I just spent points on getting somebody good as a tracker. Uh, perhaps? What's the urgency? Well, sir, it's a long story. Oh, God. I had a bit of a misunderstanding here in Tugler about a horse that I found tied up outside of the inn. It was the spitting image of a beast that threw me a few days back and ran off. Naturally, I untied it for a closer look, and it turns out to be the horse that belongs to a merchant. A pinchy-faced old goat who wouldn't accept that it was all a simple misunderstanding and went off to tell the guards. But if it was with a large... But if I was with a large group who could vouch for me, they might let it pass. I'd be grateful to you. Uh, perhaps, but um, how do I know that you won't... that they won't be a misunderstanding about one of my horses. Sir, I'm offended that you would even think such a thing. I'd be most indebted to you, and you, you'll you see that I'll show my gratitude. I've ridden over a fair amount of, amount of good rough country in my time. More often than not, I'm hungry. I'm a good tracker, and I've got a good eye for terrain, so what'd you say? Um, good, you could be useful to us. I've been... I'll be very useful to you, sir. You could bet that I... Just one more thing we leave. Would you mind lending me 300 denarii? I'm ashamed to say it, but I have made myself a bit of a debt standing in this tavern over the last few weeks, and the tavern owner no longer believes that I'm loaded with gold, as I used to tell them. But, you know, things could get ugly here if I'm left. So, not only, not only have you been basically done for trying to steal a horse, you've now run up a debt in the tavern. Well, here's 300 denarii, a, a pittance from my tournament winnings. Uh, but we'll have to leave it here, ladies and gentlemen. So as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but I'll be saying goodbye. Goodbye.